Okay, this video we're going to have a quick canter through uh, logic gates and their symbols, uh, truth tables, uh, Boolean expressions. We'll go through fairly rapidly. So here's our not gate, uh, triangle, circle on the end, circle telling us it's a class as an inverter. And Q is not whatever A is, not the logic level what A is, so that helps us do our truth table. So we get the opposite logic level to whatever we put in. So our AND gate comes next, just looks like a, a, a big D. Okay, and for this one we need A and B for it to be to get high on the output. And it's the dot there that means the AND. So in doing our truth table, then uh, we need both inputs to be a high to get a one out. So we end up where the truth table looks like that. So our OR gate, uh, curved curved back, uh, curve pointy front. Uh, you've got to make sure that uh, there's a good differentiation there between that and the, the AND gate. Okay, on this one we need A OR B to be a high to get an output. So we use the plus symbol to mean OR. And in drawing the truth table for it, so uh, when A or B is high, so in this case we've got a 1 there, so we're going to get a 1 out, a 1 there on that line, and then both A and B are high, so we're going to get a 1 out there. So we'll look at some derivatives now. So we've got a NAND gate, so it's an AND followed by a NOT. So we can just write the Boolean expression for that, the same same as well. So it's an AND gate, and then we're not in the whole of the output. Which means our truth table looks a little bit like this. Uh, so you can either do it in two parts, or just remember that this line was the only line when we've got both inputs, so it's going to be a 1 we get. Um, we'd normally go 1 out for an AND gate, but this time we'll get a 0. And just expressing that in words. If any input is low, then the output is high. It's also quite useful to remember those sorts of things. So our NOR gate, then same as our OR gate. But the whole thing again is knotted. We've inverted the output. So in writing the true table, we can remember, remember that if any input is high, the output is going to be low. So you end up with a true table that looks like that. So we'll look at our exclusive OR gate now, or sometimes called EOR. Um, looks a bit like this. Okay, so we differentiate from a normal OR gate by putting the, uh, a double bracket there at the front. So Q is equal to A OR B, but so we know it's an exclusive OR gate, we put that. And you could actually just put that if you wanted to. Uh, and as we'll find out a little bit later on, then it's also um, equal to that. So with our truth table we're looking for exclusivity and that should give you a clue with what I've just drawn on there for mapping it out. So we're looking for exclusivity. This to, to first line here both a and B are the same, so not, exclu not exclusive. Then we do have exclusivity. We do have exclusivity. And then this line, they're both ones, so we don't have exclusivity anymore. So our exclusive NOR gate, same idea, but just the opposite way around. So we're looking like that. OK. Okay, so we're going to look at three input exclusive OR. We have three inputs on the AND and the OR, but they're going to be exactly the same. They follow exactly the same principles. It's just the uh, three input exclusive OR and NOR that seems to cause a few issues. It doesn't quite follow for the, for the NOR. Okay, let's first of all, let's co concentrate on these first four lines. C is equal to zero, so we're just looking at A and B, so we can produce our D output. Okay, so our D output no exclusivity, 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 no exclusivity. Okay, happy with that. Okay, and we can do exactly the same same for the next four lines. Okay, and now we can then mix it in with the uh, this. So we're mixing in with the C input. Uh, D 
D and, and C are both zero, so we've got zero uh, from there. Uh, C is a zero, D is a one, so we do have exclusivity there. We do have exclusivity there. Okay. Here's where we get a little bit interesting. So we've got C as a one. So we're going to get a one out on there because of exclusivity. But on these next next lines, we don't have exclusivity because D. And we end up with a true table like that. So 